Hello Fun Army. So this week we are taking on a new sewing project. Um, still working my way up to the more difficult stuff. So this is not basic but not hard. Mostly straight lines, which is always a win for me. So remember that time when I bought that really massive bag of rice? Well, I was cleaning my floors the other day and I sort of, for whatever reason, had suddenly zoned in on the uh, shitty bit of cardboard I've been using as a doorstop for my kitchen door for the last three bajillion years. And I was like, why? Why have I never sorted out a proper doorstop? And then it occurred to me, massive bag of rice, have material with dogs on it that whilst it's not quite my thing, is quite robust, I'm gonna make myself a doorstop. So uh, that's the next mish. I have, I actually have a plan with this one. Um, I have some instructions. <laughs> I don't know if that's worse, to be honest. I'm not very good at following instructions, which is why, you know, I just kind of make my plans up as I go along. So, uh, but yeah, it, it's give, at least given me sizes of things to cut out from the doggy fabric. So we're gonna do that. Um, the instructions around how to sew it together are not what my brain logically thought you might do. So that's gonna be a bit of an interesting challenge. Um, so basically it's gonna be like a little square with a handle and then I fill it up with the, the rice. Um, so it has a front panel and a back panel and then obviously a, a zhuzh panel that goes around the side and then you make the, the fabric handle as well. Um, but apparently I do the handle first, so that to the top bit and then there's a whole lot of like sewing around the side and the bit where you do the filling is not where I thought it was going to be. So I'm just like, have they overcomplicated this or was I oversimplifying it in the first place? I don't know. But we're going to give it a crack anyway. So stay tuned, follow along, enjoy the hijinks as I try and figure out how the hell to do this. <laughs> Talk to you later. Okay, so I have my measurements. I have my measuring implement. Apparently in square inches. I don't know how well you can see that. Um, so we need two sides a back and a front, a top and a bottom, and then the handle. Um, I've got the, the uh, measurements in centimetres and inches, but apparently all I get on the ruler is inches. <laughs> so, <laughs> inches it is then, people. Um, so the sides are 19, no, that's centimetres, still centimetres, Rosie. Uh, sides are seven and a half inches by three and a quarter inches. So yeah, we'll do sides, then back and front, then top and bottom, then handle, and then we'll start sewing. <laughs> Wish me luck!
feeling suitably snug about this. Who knew? And no rice falling, epic test. One final test though, does it actually work as a doorstop? Let's find out. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye, evil piece of cardboard. Hello, funky new doorstop. No. Let's just settle it down. <laughs> it's like patting the dog. <laughs> Ta-da! So now if we look, it sweeps along with the door. Yes. I'm mightily pleased with that. It's doorstop tastic. Whoop 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 whoop. So yay! I genuinely wasn't sure this one was gonna be in my skill set to be honest. <laughs> I'm sure uh, you saw me struggling over like how it all because you have to like have everything right side facing but there are all these little bits so it's it, trying to like, sew the right bit when you're folding it in and out like this um stumped me for a minute but i did it and it looks great i'm really pleased really pleased i think the next mission will be to make one without dogs on it. again nothing against dogs <laughs> It's just the only suitable fabric I have right now. I mean, it goes with the colour scheme at least. Um, but uh, yeah, no, I'm really pleased with that. Really pleased. Uh, I'm gonna have to send a picture to my mum now because she will also appreciate it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed making this one with me. Um, what am I gonna make next? Good question. Um, I'm doing my Christmas project still, which I can't show you until after Christmas, still. <laughs> um, so I've got a couple of other things on the go. I might, I'm quite keen on attempting some felting. It's been on the list for a while. We'll kind of see how time goes. Um, might do some more origami. We're obviously going into December, so there might be some interesting new projects that crop up. I think this is the thing, like with the doorstop, I just have random ideas as I see I have a need or as I'm like, oh yeah, really let's try that thing. So, oh, fireworks. They're, they're celebrating the glory of me making a successful doorstop. <laughs> no, it's actually just Diwali. Um, not just Diwali, Diwali is important, but yes, the fireworks are not for me, sadly. Um, yeah, so I, I don't, I don't know what the next next project is going to be. So I guess stay tuned to find out. If you have any requests, please fire them over. Um, I would really like to hear what you're interested in seeing from a sewing perspective. Um, <laughs> I guess bearing in mind I'm still learning. So it's either going to be ha ha chaos or you might actually get to see how I put something together. <laughs> Whichever you prefer. Um, so yeah, let me know. Would love to hear your thoughts. And I'll catch you next time. Bye! -bye.